I have to finish like all the little things for my uh, jumpless video that we're working on right now. It's going to be a very tight timeline to get everything done. Hello there, Gavin. How's it going, dude? How dare that Zen guy beat your world record? Who the fuck does he think he is? I know, right? What a bastard. Metallic is an interesting taste I haven't had before in beef. Who said metallic? Did somebody say that like a certain kind of beef tastes metallic? Dude, I remember my- oh my god, you guys are gonna lose your shit at this. My mom took me and my brother to New York. We went to a Bobby Flay restaurant. If you guys don't know who Bobby Flay is, he's like one of the best chefs to like ever do it. You know, he's like all over American food networks and shit like that. And he has a bunch of restaurants that are super high end. We're talking like 60 to $80 for a meal. You know, somewhere around there. My mom, we all got steaks. My brother and I got medium rare because of course we did. My mom got the steak well done. The waiter was like, are you sure? And my mom was like, yeah, I want it well done. I was like, mom, what? What? It was fucked up. It was honestly fucked up. Is well done good? No. It's not. It like it makes the steak like rough and and like hard to chew. And there's like no like juices in there. I mean like I honestly for a brief moment would have been less embarrassed if my mom just took the $75 and just lit it on fire. I pro like I was like mom no 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 no. I don't know. I take mine medium. I think that's fair. Listen, if you're like a if you're a fan of medium I just assume that you're like, you know, generally a little bit less of a risk taker as a human being, you know? I'm like, okay, that's fair. I get it. Medium well? I'm like, okay, what is it? What exactly is going on here? It's the medium well people I don't understand more than anybody else. Like, the well done people, I'm like, you guys are psychopaths, but at least you know what you're about. Medium well? Who the fuck even are you? Have you made a strong choice in your entire life? Like, do you have any conviction as a human being? You can tell a lot about somebody by how they order a steak. <laughs> if she liked it, it's all good. I mean, yeah, my mom liked the steak. I don't know, she, she enjoyed it. But I was like, mom, like, you could have enjoyed it so much more if you had gotten it, like, medium rare. And she's like, no, I really liked it like this. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, we make sacrifices for the people that we love. I don't like steak. That's actually fair. I think that's reasonable. There are people out there that don't like red meat and that's fine. I think that's totally okay. I don't like pork that much. I like certain kinds of pork. Like I'll make pork chops. I'll make, uh, I'll like slow cook a pork shoulder from time to time, but like, I don't like bacon. I think it's disgusting. And there's a lot of people who tell me that I'm crazy for not liking bacon. I think it's the grossest meat I've ever eaten. Oh, come on, man. Okay, that's fine. I, I caught the mistake. You have the hottest food takes? I'm very passionate about food. Food is probably, I would say, like, I love food and music. Also, I am going to run some ads now. Gamers, if you don't want to watch ads, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel with a $5 sub or a Twitch Prime sub. 
Or if you're feeling generous, you can always give the sub to the community as well. Help some people out who may not be able to afford it. Either way, here's three minutes of ads. Okay. Um, I feel very, very strongly about music and about food. And the reason I feel strongly about both of them is because those are the two things that every human being can understand. There is not a single human being alive that does not have an opinion about food and music. And I think it's really awesome to feel very opinionated oh, about this stuff so that I can have really deep conversations with people. Huab, thank you for the four yill. Oh my god, getting your fucking double Hilly Clinton on. I can't believe it. What country has the best food overall? Well, I've never been to that many countries, so I can't really give you an accurate assessment. But I feel like the Latin countries do it right. That's my opinion. I feel like the Latin countries, they make an entire event out of food on the regular. Chinese food is also incredible. Japanese food is incredible. Asian food in general is very, very good. I once heard somebody say that British cuisine is the best cuisine in the entire world. And I don't understand why that person likes the color gray so much. But apparently they really love it. Italy, Italian food is incredible. Absolutely goaded. Two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Yo, I got the one gold of the session so far is the auto splitter section. That's awesome. Dude, the national food of Great Britain is aspic, okay? You can't tell me that British food is goaded. I'd say Italian food is unbelievably good, though. Like, I have been in Italy and tried, like, authentic Italian cuisine. It is just incredible. The, it is, it is low-key. The reason why it's so good is because Italian food is always homemade and always homegrown. They cook all of their shit fresh. It is fresh. Consistently. Dude, I would pay good money to eat Italian food prepared by Alamusa. I would. I would pay good moon, uh, good money. Isn't Italy soil bad? I have no idea if I'm being honest with you. I don't know anything about the soil in Italy. I just know that the food tastes amazing. You have to understand, I'm from America. And so all of our food here in America is dog shit. It's full of pesticides, it's full of preservatives, it's full of sugar. Even if you grew, like, second-rate vegetables in third-rate soil, it would probably still taste better than American vegetables. I was really fucking terrified that I tur or that I uh, bounced there for a second because the camera did something weird. With your nonna making fr oh, I know what nonna means. Don't worry, Enzo. Parlo un pochino italiano. Uh, I don't even know how to do past tense anymore. What I say? O studiare uh, l'opera. Al universe, uh, al ah fuck, I don't know. How do you say in university? Al university, ah uh, no, I'm crossing my languages up. Ho studiato l'opera al università. I know how to sing in Italian a little bit. My my actual spoken Italian pronunciation is not very good anymore. I'm I'm out of practice. I've kind of, the, what's more important when you're speaking Italian, more than the actual, like, 
The pronunciation is very much carried by the inflection, like the rhythm of how you say the, your words. But yeah, I still remember a lot of my opera studies. I remember like, uh, I remember a lot of arias. Like I could sing it. I could sing a lot of shit in Italian. I just don't know how to speak any of it anymore. The fact that at the end of my last round, I just came arrivo to my landlord makes me so embarrassed for some reason. That's so funny. La donna è mobile, qual più malvento. Fuck, that was scary. Okay, we go over here. Pretty fine singing. Thanks, dude. What the fuck? Never in all my days have I seen that. Yeah, I did used to be an opera singer, so I know how to sing some shit. Largo factotum della città largo. La 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 la. Presto a tega che la vai già presto. La 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 la. When did I stop? Uh, I officially closed that chapter of my life. Holy shit. I officially closed that chapter of my life, I would say, last year. Last year is when I stopped considering myself a professional opera singer to the masses. Holy shit, that felt awkward. I only know those songs from Looney Tunes. Do you know that's actually the reason why Looney Tunes was created? Did you guys know that Looney Tunes was literally just like a, 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 a ploy to get young American children to listen to classical music? I don't know if you guys knew that or not. That's why they have so many like classical songs in there. It just goes to show, if you write well, you can get people to buy into anything. Looney Tunes is incredible. Yo, Workaholics, thank you for the half year, dude. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Glad to have you back. Dude, guys, I want you to know, if you weren't here earlier, there actually will be a new sub variation added to this stream as of today. If you guys don't know, there, Jack Spratty, uh, one of the most notorious shitters of this community, did one of the nicest things anyone's ever done for this stream. He paid Huel, like the actual real life actor of Huel, good money to make a new sub alert where he says, Welcome to the Rack Pack. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. It cost him 450 New Zealand dollars to do it. And it was worth every penny. Spratty fueled fuel. And you know what the best part is? If you watch the video, it's so clear that the actor didn't even, like, Huel didn't even actually try at all. He literally just read the words on the screen in one take and just sent it. It's legitimately one of the most based things I've ever seen. 
Huel Babineau, Carlos. The actual Huel Babineau. Dude, imagine being that guy piloting the plane and just getting owned instantly. All right, what do you know, gamers? We got another fucking ridiculously paced run over to Holostar. I am gonna put my headset on to prepare for my metronome on Draco, assuming I get past this planet. But there is obviously a lot of ways that I can fuck this up. Don't say it, don't fucking say it. Hey, listen, I know just as well as anybody that a run can die very easily to this planet. But I'm gonna put them on now so that I can be prepared in case I get it. I'm well aware of the risks. My five sub deal stays. I appreciate that, my milkman. This run sucks ass, therefore Draco doesn't matter. I mean, that's pretty true. Where's the lie? That was really close. That was actually really, really close to being dead. How does the metronome work? It just kind of helps keep me grounded a little bit. Uh-oh. Okay, you need to fucking chill out, Talos, okay? Do you prefer donations or subs? Um, I don't really mind either way. If you donate to my stream, hold on, let me do this real quick. If you donate to my stream, all that money eventually goes to my YouTube editors, which uh, obviously I like. Um, but if you donate to the, if you gift subs, it gives back to the community. Let's go for it. I don't have the turrets on, which is kind of bad. Okay. Spratty, thank you for the five gift subs. Adela Shirai, thank you for the five gift subs. Hello, my milkman, thank you for the five gift subs. I am going to take my headset off again so I can actually focus on the run. We got a good one, gamers. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. I will be more emotional about the, the gifted subs after this run is over. I need you guys to know that right now I gotta be laser focused. Laser focused. We've got a good run going now. So now it's not a crutch? Fuck off, Zem. <laughs> Bowser Pants, listen buddy. You didn't listen to me before. You're, you're, you're talking with your ego right now. You need to be putting time out again, dude, it looks like. You, you need to calm down a little bit. 
You don't understand why you got timed out. It's not about what you said, it's about how the fuck you said it. Learn to show people some goddamn respect. And then we'll all be fine. Stop acting up, dude. Go eat some food. Level your blood pressure a little bit. It's not that serious. Franz, thank you for the tier 3 resub. I really appreciate that, man. I really do. Go get this semi. Thank you for the bits, Dark Shade. Thank you for the three bits, Starstruck Banan. I'm gonna hide my splits, actually. I'm gonna hide my splits. You guys can take a look at my splits, but I don't want to look at them. Bits. GL, GL, GL. Thank you. I appreciate that, Plat Dog. Thank you for the GL, GL, GL. Nearly dropped that whip jump. Okay. Remember, gamers, you have to go down once. But if you close your splits, does it almost feel like nothing's changed at all? Okay, let's see here. <laughs> but if you penis pump, <laughs> does it almost feel like nothing's fueled at all? All right, because I am a little baby bitch, I am going to walk it back a step, and I'll walk it back a step. I hate when I do that. I hate when I do that, too. Let's not get invisible walled here. Very nice. Okay. Cheers for the GL Manto, I appreciate it. Phoenix Rescue. Phoenix Rescue has been owning my asshole when I'm on good paces lately. I either lose 7 seconds, or 15 seconds, or 10 seconds, or 12 seconds. Let's see if we can get a decent one going. Zam. I couldn't help but notice you aren't wearing the regulation green Q-Force tights. I suggest you get your butt back in uniform before I write you up for a dress code violation. I'll take a one second time loss from that thing. Alright. I almost just call this Kronos. Koros! Koros, Koros, Koros. You and I have a very hot and cold relationship. Rue Beetle, I couldn't help but notice you're wearing, you aren't wearing the regulation Q Force. I'm sorry, I'll read the rest of that later. I gotta focus a little bit. Okay. Don't crash. 
Okay, I didn't fall for Crashma. All right, command center. Let's do it. Command center, baby. Let's do it. My favorite planet. Holy shit, that was lucky. I'm not taking any fucking risks right there. I don't have to. <laughs> I know I don't have to take any fucking risks on that one. Bitch, shut the fuck up, Izaki. Nah, Izaki, right? I mean, he is right. He is right. I'll have to get another PB with with uh, setup. Let's whip the trigger at some point. Not a bad run at all. Not a bad fucking run at all. Very nice. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. <laughs> How many times did I have to tell you guys, huh? How many fucking times did I say that if I got past Draco, I would get world record? Oh, I put it at about a coin flip. But, uh, I'm glad that I was right. I actually felt super dialed in right there. I felt like I was playing really, really well. <laughs> I was here, mother. Chuck you, Joel, monkey flip. Okay. Couple things I did want to say real quick. First off, this is a pretty fucking good time. <laughs> this is a pretty fucking good time. Um, this is gonna be hard to beat. However, it is beatable, and so I'm going to keep going. I want to try to get 26 1x. That's going to require absolute perfection, but I think I can do it. Um, <laughs> Helges, Avizo, TGC, holy fuck gamers, thank you all so much for the subs. Thank you everybody who was gifting subs, donating, giving bits, everything. Holy shart, dude. Um, Bowser Pants, I did want to give a special shout out to you, buddy. I wanted to say, listen, hey, th I, there's no bad blood, all right? I don't got any bad blood with you. I just wanted to say that. I don't even know if you're still here. I'm sorry that we got into that argument. We were, we were both, we were arguing on the same side of the coin, you know? We were arguing the same thing. We just didn't, we just were butting heads a little bit, you know? Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, my YouTube team for putting up with me grinding this category for hours and hours when I should have been working on things. Um, <laughs> uh, kudos to them. I, I, I really appreciate their patience. Um, and shout outs to every single person in this chat right now for rooting for this run. Um, you guys know I love shouting out various Ratchet Runners when I get really, really good times. This time around... Melon. Yo, thanks, Kimchi. That's a well-earned WR. Thank you very much, dude. Um, this time around, I just want to give a shout out to myself. You know, it's maybe it's a bit egotistical, but I've put so much hard work and love into this category recently. And I hope, I really, really hope that um, many of you who are struggling with whatever you're trying to overcome in your life, that this is giving you uh, a little bit of inspiration that if you put in the hard work and you don't give up, 
and you oh, stay you. stubborn and you stay willing to improve that you will succeed you know you'll overcome whatever it is you're working on so don't ever give up please you may listen i'm not guaranteeing that if you work hard you'll become the best at what you do but i am guaranteeing that if you do work hard you'll learn a lot about yourself along the way and that's worth more than any world record could ever work uh could ever mean and of course shout outs to sneepy <laughs> just for you know he's sleepy 